Excellent customer service is very important. Customers want to feel that you respect them, that you are there for them. Just making sure the customer is satisfied. I like the fact that I can communicate personally, not just over the phone. At the end of the day, they know that they have that one person they can actually call on. You want to treat that person how you would want to be treated. We work seven days a week, 365 days of the year. I try to make every experience a wow experience for the customer. Good evening, Bahamas. You're tuned in to NB12 Weekend. Coming up tonight in news, the FNM leader says the National Security Minister needs to man up. The head of a program for troubled youth taking issue with government's proposed parental responsibility law. Why one educator says the national curriculum needs revamping. Plus, as always, we count down the top quotes in news this week. I'm Paige McCartney. We've got those stories and more straight ahead on NB12 Weekend. <laughs> to MB12 weekend. Opposition leader Dr. Hubert Minnis says National Security Minister Dr. Bernard Nottage needs to man up and take responsibility for the state of crime in the country. He was responding to comments the minister made in the House of Assembly last week where he lamented how government is blamed for the high murder rate but is never commended on days when there are no murders. Minnis echoed statements made by the Bahamas Bar Association President Ellsworth Johnson last week. They must take responsibility. The PLP is an organization. Anything that's bad, they want to blame someone. If it's good, they want to take the credit for it. Well, all I say, man up, man up, and take responsibility for the good and the bad. To date, there have been 110 murders committed this year. At this rate, the country is poised to surpass last year's murder count. A record 127 murders were recorded in 2011 under the Ingram administration. Minnis called it insulting that Nottage wants praise for doing his job. That government, they were hired and elected by the people to govern. That's their responsibility to govern. So don't come and tell us, the people, that if they did something that looks positive, two, two weeks of a lull, you need a pat on the back, that's your job. That's your job. So what happens if you have six weeks of lull? If two weeks require a pat on the back, my God, what six weeks would require? What would you want us to do for six weeks? I would not even fathom to imagine what he would want for six weeks. But that's his job. During the last Ingram administration, several PLP MPs called for then-National Security Minister Tommy Turnquest to resign. Before the 2012 general election, the PLP also erected controversial murder billboards that showed the murder count under the FNM. But Minnis says the high level of violence and crime shows that the PLP has failed to deliver on its promise to arrest the crime problem, and the Bahamian people won't be fooled this time around. Hired to improve the quality of life of the humans. And when you find that you cannot do it, don't blame others. Don't blame others. You have failed. Your government has failed. Your policies have failed. The people have recognized that. And in a very short time, that failed government will be no more. Well, the government has announced a number of initiatives to fight crime, including holding parents legally responsible for their children's actions. But director of the National Lead Institute, Troy Clark, says he doesn't agree with the move. Here's Jasmine Brown. Clark, who has long been an advocate for at-risk young men, says punishing parents is simply not the answer. The legislation, what is being brought forth, should get towards equipping and empowering, not uh, chastising or punishing parents. Last month, Minister of National Security Dr. Bernard Nodded said government intends to bring a parental responsibility bill that would compel parents of minors to either be effective parents or face criminal prosecution. Clark insists punishing parents is not the answer. That legislation, I think what needs to happen is that 
they do not need the print on that legislation. What needs to happen is that the whole system, we need to start breaking our silos, meaning we need to move out of our territorial uh, base and start working collaboratively. Nottage pointed out that 70% of children born in the country are born to single parents. He said many single mothers seek to befriend their children rather than be parents. Clark agrees that parents need training but not penalties. He insisted expanding current parenting programs is a much better option. But I think what needs to happen is that the national parenting program that is now in place, we will be working closely with them actually to actually enhance their program. What we need to do holistically, every child that has a problem, his parent needs to be in a program as well because a lot of times we end up treating the parent who might have been a good parent with bad children, okay? Instead of treating good or bad parents, or would we say bad, I mean good parents, with bad children. What we need to do is actually treat the whole thing whereas we start the parenting on a national parenting program from the high school. And Clark says while many lay the blame for the current crime problem at the government's doorstep, the fact is it will take a unified approach. Reporting for NB12, I'm Jasmine Brown. Well, police are searching for the suspect of an overnight shooting. Reports are that shortly after 8 p.m., a man was standing in the front of a Lewis Street home when a gunman shot him before running off. The victim was rushed to hospital where he was listed in stable condition. Now, two outspoken crime activists are calling for the blame game to end when it comes to crime. President of the National Lead Institute says making the crime problem the fault of just one group is not helping the situation. There's plenty of blame to go around. Around. The police is blaming the government, the government is blaming the parents, the parents is blaming the schools, the schools is blaming the church, the church is blaming the courts. No, that's the blame game. That's the victim mentality in our culture. And we need to take out of we need to take the victim mentality out of our culture. But former Assistant Commissioner of Police Paul Thompson says successive government's failure to implement and stick to suggested crime-fighting strategies has contributed to the current crime situation. There are a number of recommendations that have been made by police officers like myself and commissioners of police over the years, over the decades that nothing was done about. And Thompson says you simply can't make ground, grand announcements and then not follow through. If those things had been put in place, we may not be in the position we are in now. I am <clears throat> very satisfied with most of what the police is doing. The commissioner's uh, plan, crime plan, is working. If you look in newspapers and listen to the news and you see the volumes of arrests being made. Stay with us when MB12 returns why the power secure transition is being called a waste of time and an educator seeks to change the way students are taught in the Bahamas. Those stories and more when we come right back.